Hello everybody, welcome back to The Real BBC, where we'll be continuing our read-through of the Hebrew Bible, providing any historical insight, picking back up in the book of Jeremiah, not a, super lo not a lot to comment on, so just reading aloud and providing any insight or thoughts that come to mind. Picking up at Jeremiah 41.1, Jedaliah is slain by Ishmael. Now it came to pass in the seventh month that Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, the son of Elishama, Elishama, of the seed royal, and the princes of the king, even ten men with him, came unto Jedaliah, the son of Ahikam, to Mizpah. And there they did eat bread together in Mizpah. Then arose Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, and the ten men that were with him, and smote Jedaliah, the son of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, with the sword, and slew him whom the king of Babylon had made governor over the land. Ishmael also slew all the Jews that were with him, even with Jedaliah at Mizpah, and the Chaldeans that were found there, and the men of war. And it came to pass the second day after he had slain Jedaliah, and no man knew it, that there came certain from Sechem, from Shiloh, and from Samaria, even fourscore men, having their beards shaven and their clothes rent, and have cut themselves with offerings and incense in their hand, to bring them to the house of the Lord. And Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, went forth from Mizpah to meet them, weeping all along as he went. And it came to pass, as he met them, he said unto them, Come to Jedaliah, the son of Ahikam. And it was so, when they came into the midst of the city, that Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, slew them, and cast them into the midst of the pit, he and the men that were with him. But ten men were found among them that said unto Ishmael, Slay us not, for we have treasures in the field, of wheat, and of barley, and of oil, and of honey. So he forbear and slew them not among their brethren. Now the pit wherein Ishmael had cast all the dead bodies of the men, whom he had slain because of Jedaliah, was it which Asa the king had made for fear of Basha, king of Israel. And Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, Nathaniah, filled it with them that were slain. Then Ishmael carried away captive all the residue of the people that were in Mizpah, even the king's daughters and all the people that remained in Mizpah, whom Nebuzar Adon, the captain of the guard, had committed to Jedaliah, the son of Ahikam. And Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, carried them away captive and departed to go over to the Ammonites. Jo Johanan frees the captives. But when Johanan, the son of Kareah, and all the captives of the forces that were with him, heard of all the evil that Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, had done, then they took all the men and went to fight with Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, and found him by the great waters that are at Gibeon. Now it came to pass that when all the people which were with Ishmael saw Johanan, the son of Kareah, and all the captains of the forces that were with him, then they were glad. So all the people that Ishmael had carried away captive from Mizpah cast about and returned, and went unto Johanan, the son of Kareah. But Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, escaped from Johanan with eight men, and went to the Ammonites. Then took Johanan, the son of Kera, and all the captains of the forces that were with him, all the remnant of the people whom he had recovered from Ishmael, that son of Nathaniah from Mizpah. After that, he had slain Jedaliah, the son of Ahikam, even mighty men of war, and the women, and the children, and the eunuchs whom he had brought again from Gibeon. And they departed and dwelt in the habitation of Chim. Chimham, which is by Bethlehem, to go to the, enter into Egypt, because of the Chaldeans, for there were, were afraid of them, because Ishmael the son of Nathaniah had slain Jedaliah the son of Ahikam, whom the king of Babylon made governor in the land. Repeating the names quite a bit. A promise to obey the Lord. Then all the captains of the forces, and Johanan the son of Kareah, and Jezaniah the son of Hoshaiah, and all the people from the least even unto the greatest came near, and said unto Jeremiah the prophet, Let, we beseech thee, our supplication be accepted before thee, and pray for us unto the Lord thy God, even for all this remnant. For we are left but a few of many, as thine eyes do behold us. That the Lord thy God may shew us, at us the way wherein we may walk, and the thing that we may do. Then Jeremiah the prophet said unto them, I have heard you. Behold, I will pray unto the Lord, your God, according to your words. And it shall come to pass that whatsoever thing the Lord shall answer you, I will declare it unto you. I will keep nothing back from you. Then they said to Jeremiah, The Lord be a true and faithful witness between us. If we do not even according to all things for 
the which the Lord thy God shall send thee to us, whether it be good or whether it be evil, we will obey the voice of the Lord our God, to whom we will send thee, that it may be well with us when we obey the voice of the Lord our God. Mercy if the remnant stays in the land. And it came to pass after ten days that the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah. Then called he Johanan the son of Kareah, and all the captains of the forces which were with him, and all the people from least even to the greatest, and said unto them, Thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, unto whom ye sent me to present your supplication before him. If ye will still abide in this land, then will I build you, and not pull you down, and I will plant you, and not pluck you up. For I repent me of the evil that I have done unto you. Be not afraid of the king of Babylon, of whom ye are afraid. Be not afraid of him, saith the Lord. For I am with you to save you, and to deliver you from his hand. And I will shew mercies unto you, that he may have mercy upon you, and cause you to return to your own land. Death, if Egypt is entered. But if ye say, We will not dwell in this land, neither obey the voice of the Lord your God, saying, No. But we will go into the land of Egypt, where we shall see no war, nor hear the sound of the trumpet, nor hunger nor have hunger of bread, and there we will dwell. And now, therefore, hear the word of the Lord, yea, remnant of Judah. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, If ye wholly set your faces to enter into Egypt, and go to sojourn there, then it shall come to pass that the sword which ye feared shall overtake you there in the land of Egypt, and the famine whereof ye were afraid shall follow close after you there in Egypt, and there ye shall die. So shall it be with all men that set their faces to go into Egypt to sojourn there. They shall die by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence, and none of them shall remain or escape from the evil that I will bring upon them. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, As mine anger and my fury hath been poured forth upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so shall my fury be poured forth upon you, when ye shall enter into Egypt, and ye shall be an execration and an astonishment, and a curse and a reproach, and ye shall see this place no more. Jeremiah rebukes the remnant. The Lord hath said concerning you, O ye remnant of Judah, go ye not into Egypt, know certainly that I have admonished you this day. For ye dissembled in your hearts, when ye sent me unto the Lord your God, saying, Pray for us unto the Lord our God, and according unto all that the Lord our God shall say, So declare us unto us, and we will do it. And now I have this day declared it to you, but ye have not obeyed the voice of the Lord your God, nor anything for which he hath sent me unto you. Now therefore know certainly that ye shall die by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence, in the place whither ye desire to go and to sojourn. Refusal to heed the warning. And it came to pass that when Jeremiah had made an end of speaking unto all the people all the words of the Lord their God, for which the Lord their God had sent him to them, even all these words, then spake Azar, Azariah, the son of Hoshaiah, and Johanan, the son of Kareah, and all the proud men, saying unto Jeremiah, Thou speakest falsely, the Lord our God hath not sent thee to say, Go not into Egypt to sojourn there. Why are we going to Egypt? It was that what, that's what the whole point of Moses was to get out of there. But Baruch, the son of Neriah, setteth thee on against us, for to deliver us into the hand of the Chaldeans, that they might put us to death and carry us away captives into Babylon. So Johanan the son of Kareah, and all the captains of the forces, and all the people obeyed not the voice of the Lord to dwell in the land of Judah. But Johanan the son of Kareah, and all the captains of the forces, took all the remnant of Judah that were returned from all nations, whither they had, whither they had been driven to dwell in the land of Judah, even men and women and children, and the king's daughters, and every person that Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, had left with Jedaliah, the son of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, and Jeremiah the prophet, and Baruch the son of Naria. So they came into the land of Egypt, for they obeyed not the voice of the Lord. Thus came they even to Tophanes, the sign of the stones. Then came the word of the Lord unto Jeremiah in Tophanes, saying, Take great stones in thine hand, and hide them in the city in the Bricklin, brick kiln, which is at the enter of Pharaoh's house in Tophanes, in the sight of the men of Judah. And say unto them, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will send and take Nebuchadrezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant, and I will set his throne upon these stones that I have hid, and he shall spread his royal pavilion over them. And when he cometh, he shall smite the land of Egypt, 
and deliver such as are for death to death, and such as are for captivity to captivity, and such as are for the sword to the sword. You can see they're a dichotomistic pair, as and are, are both um, italicized. And I will kindle a fire in the houses of the gods of Egypt, and he shall burn them, and carry them away captives, and he shall array himself with the land of Egypt, as a shepherd putteth on his garment, and he shall go forth from thence in peace. He shall break also the images of Beth, Beth Shemesh, that is in the land of Egypt, and the houses of the gods of the Egyptians shall he burn with fire. Israel's sin brought desolation. The word that came to Jeremiah concerning all the Jews which dwell in the land of Egypt, which dwell at Migdol, and at Tapanhes, and at Noph, and in the country of Pothros, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Ye have seen all the evil that I have brought upon Jerusalem, and upon all the cities of Judah, and behold, this day they are a desolation, and no man dwelleth therein, because of their wickedness which they have committed to provoke me to anger, and that they went to burn incense, and to serve other gods, whom they knew not, neither they, yea, nor your fathers. Howbeit I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, saying, O, oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. But they hearkened not, nor inclined the air to turn from their wickedness, to burn no incense unto other gods. Wherefore my fury and mine anger was poured forth, and was kindled in the cities of Judah, and in the streets of Jerusalem. And they are wasted and desolate as at this day. Therefore now thus saith the Lord, the God of hosts, the God of Israel, Wherefore commit ye this great evil against your souls, to cut off from you man and woman, child and suckling, out of Judah, to leave you none to remain. And that ye provoke me unto wrath with the works of your hands, burning incense unto other gods in the land of Egypt. Whither ye be gone to dwell, that ye might cut yourselves off, and that ye might be a curse and a reproach among all the nations of the earth. Have ye forgotten the wickedness of your fathers, and the wickedness of the kings of Judah, and the wickedness of their wives, and your own wickedness, and the wickedness of your wives, which they have committed in the land of Judah, and in the streets of Jerusalem? They are not humbled even unto this day, neither have they feared, nor walked in my law, nor in my statutes, that I set before you and before your fathers. The remnant shall fall in Egypt. Therefore thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will set my face against you for evil, and to cut off all Judah. And I will take the remnant of Judah, that have set their faces to go into the land of Egypt, to sojourn there. And they shall all be consumed, and fall in the land of Egypt. They shall even be consumed by the sword and by the famine. They shall die from the least even unto the greatest by the sword and by the famine, and they shall be execration and an astonishment and a curse and a reproach. For I will punish them that dwell in the land of Egypt, as I have punished Jerusalem by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence. So that none of the remnant of Judah which are gone into the land of Egypt to sojourn there shall escape or remain, that they should return into the land of Judah, to the which they have a desire to return to dwell there, for none shall return, but such as shall escape the idolatry of Judah. Then all the men which knew that their wives had burned incense unto other gods, and all the women that stood by, a great multitude, even all the people that dwelt in the land of Egypt, in Pothros, answered Jeremiah, saying, As for the word that thou hast spoken unto us in the name of the Lord, we will not hearken unto thee, but we will certainly do whatsoever thing goeth forth out of our own mouth, to burn incense unto the Queen of Heaven, and to pour out drink offerings unto her, as we have done, we and our fathers, our kings, and our princes, in, in the cities of Judah, and in the streets of Jerusalem. For then had we plenty of victuals, and we and were well, and saw no evil. But since we left off to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven, and to pour out drink offerings unto her, we have wanted all things, and have been consumed by the sword and by the famine. And when we burned incense to the Queen of Heaven, and poured out drink offerings unto her, did we make her cakes to worship her, and pour out drink offerings unto her without our men? Judah's evil's doings. Then Jeremiah said unto all the people, to the men and to the women, and to all the people which had given him that answer, saying, The incense that ye burned in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, yea, and your fathers and your kings and your princes and the people of the land, did not the Lord remember them, and came it not into his mind? So that the Lord could no longer bear, because of the evil of your doings, and because of the abominations which ye have committed. Therefore is your land a desolation, and an astonishment, and a curse, without an inhabitant, as at this day. Because ye have burned incense, and because ye have sinned against the Lord, and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord, nor walked in his law, nor in his statutes, nor in his testimonies, therefore this evil has happened unto you, as at this day. The remnant shall be consumed.
Moreover, Jeremiah said unto all the people and to all the women, Hear the word of the Lord, all Judah that are in the land of Egypt. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, saying, Yea, and your wives have both spoken with your mouths and fulfilled with your hands, saying, We will surely perform our vows that we have vowed to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her. Ye will surely accomplish your vows and surely perform your vows. Therefore hear ye the word of the Lord, all Judah that dwell in the land of Egypt. Behold, I have sworn by my great name, saith the Lord, that my name shall no more be named in the mouth of any man of Judah in all the land of Egypt, saying, The Lord God liveth. Behold, I will watch over them for evil and not for good. And all the men of Judah that are in the land of Egypt shall be consumed by the sword and by the famine until there be an end of them. Yet a small number that escape the sword shall return out of the land of Egypt into the land of Judah. And all the remnant of Judah that are gone into the land of Egypt to sojourn there shall know whose words shall stand, mine or theirs. A sign of punishment. And this shall be a sign unto you, saith the Lord, that I will punish you in this place, that ye may know not that my words shall surely stand against you for evil. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will give Pharaoh Hophra, the king of Egypt, into the hand of his enemies, and into the hand of them that seek his life, as I gave Zedekiah, king of Judah, into the hand of Nebuchadrezzar, king of Babylon, his enemy, and sought his life, and that sought his life. God's message to Baruch. The word of Jeremiah the prophet spake unto Baruch, the son of Nariah, when he had written these words in a book at the mouth of Jeremiah in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, saying, so again, I wasn't sure as why the difference between what's Jehoiakim ruling and, um, and uh, jo, not jo, who's the guy we just talked about that got killed? Uh, Zedekiah. Like, how, how are they both kings of Judah? Thus say, saith the Lord, the God of Israel, unto thee, O Baruch, thou didst say, Woe is me now, for the Lord hath added grief to my sorrow. I fainted in my sighing, and I find no rest. Thus shalt thou say unto him, The Lord saith, Behold, that which I have built will I break down, and that which I have planted I will pluck up, even this whole land. And seekest thou greatest things for thyself? Seek them not. For behold, I will bring evil upon all flesh, saith the Lord. But thy life will I give unto thee for a prey in all places, whither thou goest. God's message to Egypt. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet against the Gentiles against Egypt, against the army of Pharaoh Necho, king of Egypt, which was by the river Euphrates in Karchemish, which Nebuchadrezzar, king of Babylon, smote in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah. Order ye the buckler and shield, and draw near to battle. Harness the horses, and get up. Ye horsemen, and stand forth with your helmets. Furbish your spears, and put on the brigandines. Wherefore have I seen them dismayed, and turned away back, and their mighty ones are beaten down, and are fled apace, and look not back, for fear was round about, saith the Lord. Let not the swift flee away, nor the mighty men escape. They shall stumble, and fall toward the north by the river Euphrates. Who is this that cometh up as a flood, whose waters are moved as the rivers? Egypt riseth up like a flood, and his waters are moved like the rivers. And he saith, I will go up, and will cover the earth. I will destroy the city, and the inhabitants thereof. Come up, ye horses, in rage, ye chariots, and let the mighty men come forth, the Ethiopians and the Libyans, and handle the shield, and the Lydians that handle and bend the bow. The Lord's day of vengeance. For this is a day of the Lord God of hosts, a day of vengeance, that he may avenge him of his adversaries, and the sword shall devour, and it shall be satiate and made drunk with their blood. For the Lord God of hosts hath his sacrifice in the north country by the river Euphrates. Go up to Hiliad and take balm, O virgin, the daughter of Egypt. In vain shalt thou use many medicines, for thou shalt not be cured. The nations have heard of thy shame, and thy cry hath filled the land. For mighty men hath stumbled against the mighty, and they are fallen both together. The coming destruction. The word that the Lord spake to Jeremiah the prophet, how Nebuchadrezzar, king of Babylon, should come and smite the land of Egypt. Declare yea in Egypt, and publish in Migdol, and publish in Noph, and in Tophanhes. Say yea, stand fast and prepare thee, for the sword shall devour round about thee. Why are they valiant men swept away? They stood not, because the Lord did drive them. He made many to fall, yea, one fell upon another, and they said, Arise, and let us go again to our own people, and to the land of our nativity. Sensorality terms nativity. 
from the oppressing sword. They did cry there, Pharaoh king of Egypt is but a noise. He hath passed the time appointed. As I live, saith the king, whose name is the Lord of hosts, surely as Tabor is among the mountains, and as Carmel by the sea, so shall he come. O thou daughter dwelling in Egypt, furnish thyself to go into captivity, for no shall be waste and desolate without an inhabitant. Destruction from the north. Egypt is like a, f a very fair heifer, but destruction cometh. It cometh out of the north. Also her hired men are in the midst of her like fatted bullocks. For they also turned back and are fled away together. They did not stand, because the day of their calamity was come upon them, and the time of their visitation. The voice thereof shall go like a serpent, for they shall march with an army, and come against her with axes, as hewers of wood. They shall cut down her forest, saith the Lord, though it cannot be searched, because they are more than the grasshoppers, and are innumerable. The daughter of Egypt shall be confounded. She shall be delivered into the hand of the people of the north. Jacob shall return. The Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, saith, Behold, I will punish the multitude of No and Pharaoh and Egypt with their gods and their kings, even Pharaoh and all them that trust in him. And I will deliver them into the hand of those that seek their lives, and into the hand of Nebuchadrezzar, king of Babylon, and into the hand of his servants, and afterward it shall be inhabited, as in the days of old, saith the Lord. But fear not thou, O my servant Jacob, and be not dismayed, O Israel. For behold, I will save thee from afar off, and thy seed from the land of their captivity. And Jacob shall return, and be in rest, and at ease, and none shall make him afraid. Fear thou not, O Jacob my servant, saith the Lord. For I am with thee, for I will make a full end of all nations, whither I have driven thee. But I will not make a full end of thee, but correct thee in measure, yet will I not leave thee wholly unpunished. God's message against Philistia. The word of the Lord that came to Jeremiah the prophet against Phil the Philistines before the Pharaoh smote Gaza. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, waters rise up out of the north, and shall be an overflowing flood, and shall overflow the land and all that is therein, the city and them that dwell therein. Then the men shall cry, and all the inhabitants of the land shall howl. At the noise of the stamping of the hooves of his strong horses, at the rushing of his chariots, and at the rumbling of his wheels, the fathers shall not look back to their children for feebleness of hands. Because of the day that cometh to spoil all the Philistines, and to cut off from Tyrus and Z Zidon every helper that remaineth. For the Lord will spoil the Philistines, the remnant of the country of Kaftor. Baldness is come upon Gaza. Oh, not those bald people. Ashkelon is cut off with the remnant of the va their valley. How long wilt thou cut thyself? O thou sword of the Lord, how long will it be ere thou be quiet? Put up thyself into thy scabbard, rest, and be still. How can it be quiet, seeing the Lord hath given it a charge against Ashkelon, and against the seashore? There hath he appointed it. God's message against Moab. Against Moab, thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Woe unto Nabo, for it is spoiled. Kirahothaim is confounded and taken. Mizgab is confounded and dismayed. There shall be no more praise of Moab and Heshbon, they have devised evil against it. Come and let us cut it off from being a nation. Also thou shalt be cut down, O madmen. The sword shall pursue thee. A voice of crying shall be from Haronim, spoiling and great destruction. Moab is destroyed. Her little ones have caused a cry to be heard. For in the going up of Luhith, continual weeping shall go up. For in the going down of Haronim, the enemies have heard a cry of destruction. Flee, save your lives, and be like the, the health in the wilderness, the heath in the wilderness. Moab trusted in his own works. For because thou hast trusted in thy works and thy, in thy treasures, thou shalt also be taken. And Chamosh shall go forth into captivity with his priests and his princes together. And a spoiler shall come upon every city, and no city shall escape. The valley also shall perish, and the plain shall be destroyed, as the Lord hath spoken. Give wings unto Moab, that it may flee and get away. For the cities thereof shall be desolate, without any to dwell therein. Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully, and cursed be he that keepeth back his sword from blood. Moab hath been at ease from his youth, and he hath settled on his lees, L-E-E-S, and hath not been emptied from vessel to vessel, neither hath he gone into captivity. Therefore his taste remained in him, and his scent is not changed. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord that I will send unto him wanderers, 
and shall cause him to wander, and shall empty his vessels and break their bottles. And Moab shall be ashamed of Chemosh, Shemosh, and the house of Israel was ashamed of Bethel, their confidence. The calamity of Moab. How say ye, we are mighty and strong men for the war. Moab is spoiled and gone up out of her cities, and his chosen young men are gone down to the slaughter, saith the king, whose name is the Lord of hosts. The calamity of Moab is near to come, and his affliction hasteth, hasteth fast. All ye that are about him, bemoan him, and all ye that know his name say, how is the strong stra staff broken, and the beautiful rod? Though thou, daughter, not do it, dost inhabit debone, come down from thy glory and sit in thirst. For the spoiler of Moab shall come, up, come upon thee, and he shall destroy thy strong hands. O inhabitant of Orer, stand by the way in Espi, and ask him that fleeth, and her that escapeth, and say, What is done? Judgment is come. Moab is confounded, for it is broken down. Howl and cry, tell ye it in Arnon, that Moab is spoiled. And judgment is come upon the plain country, upon Holon, and upon Jehaza, and upon Mephoth, and upon Debon, and upon Nabo, and upon beth de Blothame, and upon Kiriothame, and upon beth Gamul, and upon beth Maon, and upon Kerioth, and upon Bozrah, and upon all the cities of the land of Moab, far or near. The horn of Moab is cut off, and his arm is broken, saith the Lord. The pride of Moab. Make him yea drunken, and for he magnified himself against the Lord. Moab also shall wallow in his vomit, and he shall also be in derision. For was not Israel derision unto thee? Was... It just wasn't... It's not capitalized. Start of a new sentence and capitalize anything. I missed the page. Was he found among thieves? For since thou spakest of him, thou skippedest for joy. O ye that dwell in Moab, leave the cities, and dwell in the rock, and be like the dove that maketh her nest in the sides of the hole's mouth. We have heard the pride of Moab, he is exceedingly proud, his loftiness and his arrogancy, and his pride and his haughtiness of his heart. I know his wrath, saith the Lord, but it shall not be so, his lies shall not so affect it. Therefore will I howl for Moab, and I will cry out for all Moab. My heart shall mourn for the men of Kir Hares. O vine of Sidma, I will weep for thee for, with the weeping of Jazer. Thy plants are gone over the sea, they reach even unto the sea of Jazer. The spoiler is fallen upon the summer fruits and upon thy vintage. And joy and gladness is taken from the plentiful field and from the land of Moab. And I have caused wine to fail from the wine presses. None shall tread without shouting. Their shouting shall be no shouting. From the cry of Heshbon, even unto Elayelah, and even unto Jehaz, have they uttered their voice. And from Zoar, even unto Horonaim, as an heifer of three years old, for the waters of Nimrim shall be desolate. The derision of Moab. Moreover, I will cause to cease in Moab, saith the Lord, him that offereth in the high places, and him that burneth incense unto his gods. Therefore mine heart shall sound for, for Moab like pipes, and my heart shall sound like pipes for the men of Kir Hares, because the riches that he hath gotten are perished. For every head shall be bald, and every beard clipped. Upon all the hands shall be cuttings, and upon the loin sackcloth. There shall be lamentation generally upon the housetops of Moab, and in the streets thereof. For I have broken Moab like a vessel, wherein is no pleasure, saith the Lord. They shall howl, saying, How is it broken down? How hath Moab turned? the back with shame, so shall Moab be a derision and a dismaying to all them about him. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, he shall fly as an eagle, and shall spread his wings over Moab. Kerioth is taken, and the strongholds are surprised, and the mighty men's hearts of, in Moab at that day shall be as the heart of a woman in her pangs. And Moab shall be destroyed from being a people, because he hath magnified himself against the Lord. The year of visitation. Fear in the pit, in the snare, shall be upon thee, O inhabitant of Moab, saith the Lord. He that fleeth from the fear shall fall into the pit, and he that getteth up out of the pit shall be taken in the snare. For I will bring upon it, even upon Moab, the year of their visitation, saith the Lord. They that fled stood under the shadow of Heshbon because of the force, but a fire shall come forth out of Heshbon, and a flame from the midst of Sihon and shall devour the corner of Moab, and the crown of the head of the tumultuous ones. Woe be unto thee, O Moab, the people of Chemosh perisheth. 
For the sons are taken captives and their daughters captives. Yet will I bring again the captivity of Moab in the latter days, saith the Lord. Thus far is the judgment of Moab. So I'm going to finish it up there. So we can keep the, there's be one more reading in the book of Jeremiah, and I'm going to keep it about the same length. This will be about 30 minutes-ish. And we're finishing there at Jeremiah 48, 47. And we'll be picking back up time at Jeremiah 49, 1. What did we get out of this one? Uh, not much. Again, just don't praise other, other people's traditions. Don't practice other people's traditions. Blah, 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 blah. And so this book isn't very clear to me, not much to comment on historically, just reading through, getting through it, about 100 pages until we get into the New Testament. So thank you for watching, I'll see you on the next one.